Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of Classic Candy Corner. Uh, this isn't really technically candy but I guess you can call it classic candy and I don't know. <laughs> I remember we used to get these all the time when I was little. They normally came in a box and I guess if you were feeling a little bit under the weather, uh, you know, stuffy nose or something sometimes you pick these up these are actually really good even though they're they're technically not candy they're not supposed to be treated like candy these are uh luden's wild cherry <laughs> cough drops now i mean they do help uh with your sore throat stuffy nose that kind of thing it has a little bit of a pectin and then the mentholiptus and stuff like that. This comes in also watermelon, honey, lemon, and sugar-free wild cherry, but I remember these all the time. They were good, even if you weren't sick, just to get them all the time. That, and they also had uh, Vicks, and I think uh, Smith Brothers, I think, was the other one. Uh, see, yes, they are individually wrapped now, I'm sure. Mom usually had some cough drops in her purse, or there's sucrets or something like that, I guess. And yeah, the good old, uh, good old cough drop candy wild cherry. These are really strong cherry flavors. So yeah, and they have that little bit of a soothing to kind of help your throat opens up the sinuses a little bit uh, how much uh, thirty this one's thirty mm. ten calories per drop. So, these are really good, though. <laughs> I don't know. I know Sucrets used to have the... Sucrets used to have them in a tin. These are mostly in boxes. Really good bald cherry. Can't really taste a lot of that. Menthol leptis and all that other stuff that's in the background. Well, these were just kind of cool. I'm going to have them just as like candy. Good wild cherry flavor. And, you know, they would help your throat a little bit. If you're feeling under the weather. They also had the plain other stuff for... The Vix inhaler and the <clears throat> Vix rub and stuff. If you really were sick and you needed serious, you know, <clears throat> serious therapy, you could work on those. But these were kind of good. I almost forget they were really cough drops. They were just kind of good. Sore throat is severe. More than two days, accompanied by follow fever, headache. <laughs> Consult a doctor promptly. These may be serious. So, if you're really bad, ask a doctor. <laughs> Sore mouth does not improve in seven days. Irritation, pain. Keep out of reach of children. <laughs> I love that. Three years and help one drop to dissolve in your mouth. Maybe repeated as needed, directed by a doctor. Oh, <laughs> kind of fun. Mm. Guess they didn't want kids getting hold of these. Oh. Didn't want to abuse the cough drop situation, I guess. But I like wild cherry candy. 
it does kind of remind me of like the regular hard candy, like the box, the, uh, they call it sour balls. Then you got peppermint and all those other hard candies. These were fun though. I remember getting these all the time. <sighs> there was some other one, Collard and Bowser, hard candy. Mm. All the other ones, and they were in the tins. Those are kind of tough to find now. But yeah. These don't have too much of that mental liptus like the other ones do. Sucrets or Vicks are some of the ones to... Uh, mental liptus ones that are real strong on that. And you can always tell once you try it, it's really got the vapors and all that. This one, yeah, it's just mostly a soothing soothing kind of candy that just help with your sore throat. So that's what more like. And like I said, they are good candy. And they help your throat a little bit, so you're not feeling uh, particularly well, pick up a bag, keep some handy, keep it in your uh, club box in your car. I'm gonna usually have it in the purse. Um, keep it in the medicine chest. It does help. So yeah, there you go guys. A little bit of memories of these. Like I said, I know when I was little to get these all the time. And I think they I, they were like only a like quarter for a box, which is like a dollar ninety nine for the bag. But you know, it is pretty good, even if it's just candy with a little bit of uh, ingredients to help soothe your throat. So there you go, guys. The walk down memory lane for a classic candy that's not really candy, but sort of is. So there you go, guys. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell over here. That way you won't miss any future content or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time, Drew's Food Reviews. When I'll be trying another classic candy for you, I'll put these aside and have some another time when I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.